Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time once again for the Chardon Polka Band Stay at Home Polka Variety Hour. Starring your host, Jake Cowie. Featuring Mike Franklin, Mitch Lawrence. And Bob Young. Here now is the host of your show, Jake Cowie. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show, broadcasting live from Polka headquarters in my basement in Burton, Ohio. And my goodness, am I glad? to be broadcasting to you guys, and I hope you guys are happy to be here. I see a lot of people over here on the scroller checking in with me. Oh my goodness, it's great to be here. It's great to have you, and we gotta jump right into this, because at the top of our show, we got a whole bunch. Oh, it's, it's Dave, it's Dave, my favorite cop. Yeah, that's right, that's right, he's my favorite cop. And he's never pulled me over. Anyway, at the top of the show, I get so distracted. At the top of the show, we always do our requests and some tributes and dedications. And we've got uh, a few particularly really good ones here for you. So starting out, starting out our requests and dedications. We have a request from Sheila Wilk. She requests Edelweiss, the song Edelweiss from the musical The Sound of Music. And she requests this song for her mother-in-law, Edie. She says her mother-in-law comes over every week and everyone watches the Chardon Polka Band. What, what a lovely thing to do with your mother-in-law. It's, it's wonderful, I'm glad we can be a part of it. And they say even the dog, even the dog watches the Chardon Polka Band. The dog's name is Ollie for anybody keeping track. So, here we go. Here, am I in a tree house, a basement, or a garage? It's a basement. Oh, my goodness. All right, so here we go. This one's for Edie. Starting off with a wonderful old classic, Edelweiss from The Sound of Music. You had to deal with me singing that one. Usually Mike Franklin sings y'all that song. I'm happy to fill in. <laughs> now, Sandy Martin Smith. Oh, this is not one of my prearranged. See, I got a list of uh, requests and uh, dedications that came in this week. 
and then there's some that pop up on the scroller that I try and hit as well. A lot of work doing this thing. Oh my goodness. And Sandy Martin Smith says, any chance you could play Punk Rock Show by MXPX? <laughs> We ain't got no place to go, so let's go to the punk rock show. Darling, take me by the hand, I'm gonna see a punk rock band. There's no time for TV shows, radios, or rodeos. Wanna get into the crowd, and I wanna hear it played real loud. Loud. No place to go, let's go to the punk rock show. Darling, take me by the hand. I wanna see a punk rock band. There's no time for TV shows, radios, or rodeos. Wanna get into the crowd, wanna hear it play real loud. All right, a little snippet of that one. I don't, I, we don't actually play that song, is a band. <laughs> impromptu stuff you know must have played that one before somewhere to show i probably saw a girl out there with an mxpx shirt and went hey here's punk rock show by mxpx oh yeah thank you you're welcome all right so moving right along in our request moments here my good friend my good friend charlie knox Charlie is, I, I'm, I assume he's watching, because Charlie's always watching, even, even when we're not live stream, he's still watching my good friend Charlie Knox. He had a big surgery this week. Charlie had a big surgery this week, and his sister Kathy asked if I could play him one of his favorite songs to cheer him on. It's a very much requested song from the Chardon Polka Band. This one's called... Grab your balls, we're going bowling. Find your bowling shirt and put it on. Don't matter if it fits, it can't go wrong. We don't care if it's old or new. We'll all be dressed just like you. Grab your balls, we're going bowling. Grab your balls, the last one fun. Grab your balls, we're going bowling. Grab your balls, everyone. We smoke cigars and drink a lot of beer. We yell and laugh and jump and shout and cheer. There's one thing we're proud of knowing. People everywhere, they're going bowling. Grab your balls, we're going bowling. Grab your balls, we'll have some fun. Grab your balls, we're going bowling. Grab your balls, everyone. We add up our scores in a blink. And then we buy ourselves another drink We spend an hour just trying to explain Why we can bowl a better game Grab your balls, we're going bowling Grab your balls, we'll have some fun Grab your balls, we're going bowling Grab your balls, everyone Grab your balls, we're going bowling. Grab your balls, everyone. Grab your balls, we're going bowling for our good friend Charlie. Charlie, we hope you're doing good, buddy. We hope you're recovering well. Oh, my goodness. I hope they're treating you well. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's see. Oh, my goodness. We got some more requests and dedications and all that to get to. Hold on. I got to bring this one up. My good friend... Uh, we're going to wish a happy graduation. Uh, hold on, I got to turn. We got to wish a happy graduation to my good friend, Sarah, 
uh, from from Kansas. Are you Kansas or are you over the border in Nebraska? I can't remember. Oh my goodness, I want to say it's Kansas. But my good friend Sarah, here, check this out. I got to bring this up because I just love Sarah. All right, so we got our graduation poster here on the the uh, left, but over here on the right, that's my good friend Sarah. And of course, it's Halloween this year. She went as the Jake from the Chardon Polka Band with Jake's hat. Oh, a bowling shirt. I love it. I think that's an authentic bowling shirt uh, from the Chardon Polka Band. Not many folks can get their hands on one of those, which means Sarah is one of our very awesome friends. And because of that, we want to sing her a very uh, happy graduation. And there is no happy graduation polka. But one of her favorite polkas is apples, peaches, pumpkin pie. Here we go. Sarah, apples, peaches, pumpkin pie. For you. Hiding here, hiding there, I'm hiding everywhere. I am over here, now I'm over there. Hiding here, hiding there, I'm hiding everywhere. Let's all play hide and seek. Apples, peaches, pumpkin pie, who's a pretty hi Let's all play hide and seek. Apples, peaches, pumpkin pie, who's a pretty hi Let's all play hide and seek. Saxophone, accordion, the banjo, and the drum. We're gonna gather to play all the tunes. Oh, apples, peaches, pumpkin pie. Oh, what's not ready? All around here, let's all play hide and seek. Apples, peaches, pumpkin pie. Who's not ready? Apples, peaches, pumpkin pie, who's not ready, holler I hear, let's all play hide and seek. Oh, apples, peaches, pumpkin pie, who's not ready, holler I hear, let's all play hide and seek. Hey, apples, a peaches, a pumpkin pie, for my good friend, Sarah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. For my good friend Sarah, celebrating uh, senior year, class of 2020, my good friend Sarah. So happy graduation. I know it's a strange uh, end to the school year for most of our kids out there. Oh my goodness. That's right. That's right. The, uh, oh, oh my goodness. The, we got a, a, a national pandemic going on, shaking things up. Uh, making it real funky for everybody, not just uh, the kids finishing out their school year, but for musicians and uh, hospital workers, uh, mail carriers, everybody, for for everybody. It's uh, making things all kinds of crazy, even for the Krampus. They're, they're in the scroller over here. Oh, my goodness. So, which brings me to our next tune. Now, this is one... Uh, I don't really script out the show that much, but I have a little guideline of some of the stuff I know I want to get to. And this one was, I added this literally minutes before we went live. Um, There's a song we've been working on this week, and I was going to play a snippet of it. It's another one of our virtual performances, and I was going to play a snippet of it. And I went, oh, no, 
I got to play the whole thing. It's a short song, and we've been working really hard on finishing this video and this tune out this week. It's a whole lot of fun. And it happens to deal with the, the national pandemic, and uh, it's an educational uh, parody song. Um, once again, played virtually with all of us in different places, um, sending in our parts to one another. More on that later, but let me show you. Let me play this song, guys. You're gonna you're gonna dig it. Here we go. Let me. I gotta find it on my scroller. Don't want to get contaminated. It's a little riffing on some Offspring. That's a parody of Offspring's uh, Come Out and Play, right? Um, and Mr. Mike Franklin. Mr. Mike Franklin wrote that safety song for us. And uh, we actually, we haven't uh, posted it yet. You guys um, got the sneak peek. I, I, maybe, I guess I could call it a premiere uh, you guys got. I, I wasn't planning on playing the whole thing, but darn it. Uh, literally five minutes before I went live, I went, ah, duh, I got to show them the whole thing. It's only like three minutes long. Everybody will love it. It's so wonderful. Uh, we are so proud of that one. Yeah, someone t tell the good doc doctor. We'll, we'll get uh, um, Mike DeWine to play it on. Uh, they do it. If you're not from Ohio, you might not know who that is, but our governor does a, a daily uh, COVID-19 coronavirus update for the state. Um, so that's our safety song. And the way we created that is how we are creating music 
right now and that is virtually we do not actually perform with each other uh, in the same room in the same space behind me that's a practice practice space and typically this time of year we'd be uh, down in this basement uh, two three days a week working on new material uh, dusting off old material working 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 together uh, we are still attempting to work together but we have to do it virtually so uh, that brings up a lot of challenges it's not the same as just sitting next to person uh, playing your instruments together and when we create a video like the one you just saw or the ones you guys have been watching for the last few weeks I handle the video and uh, I edit all the videos Mike Mike Franklin the guy who wrote that song Mike handles the audio, so he takes everybody's audio tracks and syncs them together while I'm syncing the video. Then we, 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 then we mesh that all together. It's a lot of work. Um, most of these videos you see uh, take anywhere from, from two to, to three, four weeks to get done, depending on how many parts are getting sent in or exchanged. Sometimes we've got to tear something apart and restart. Um, that's happened a couple times because we're not in the room with each other. So uh, like I'll lay down my accordion to a metronome and, and the, the other guys will lay down their instruments on top of me. And uh, then they'll, they'll, they'll call me and they go, Jake, uh, the Jake, you did not play that correct. Oh my goodness, you know, so well. Anyway, so we have a lot of challenges working virtually. And here with me to talk about those challenges, I have interviewed my good friend and co-worker and brother in Polka, Mr. Mike Franklin, like I said, who's responsible for the audio. He is going to give us a tour of his home studio. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Mr. Mike Franklin. This is awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, over the last few weeks, we've been working virtually to bring you all these wonderful new songs and videos that you guys watch from your homes. And one of the masterminds behind this project is Mr. Mike Franklin working, I believe, from his home studio. Mr. Mike Franklin, how you doing? Where you at? Well, well, Jake, the home studio is here in my upstairs office area. All set up, stuff strewn about, just how I like it. Wow! So, for the last few weeks, the Chardon Polka Band and all the other artists who've been nice enough to help us out and work with us have been working from spaces such as, as these, these, these home studios we've created. And yes, it can be comfortable, it can be cozy, it can be wonderful, but it is not without its own set of challenges. Mike! is in charge of the audio for these projects. I mix together the videos, and Mike mixes together all the audio files from the different individuals playing. Mike, what are some of the challenges you face when dealing with audio files coming from all of us in these different locations and sending them to you to create songs? Good question, Jay. It was. You know, playing songs virtually has a lot of challenges, but the biggest one for me is rhythm, because all of our musicians that we're working with, I know they're playing everything on rhythm at home, but yes. you know, I get the tracks and things aren't necessarily lined up. So I have to go through and really tediously make sure everybody is playing on rhythm the way that they were when they recorded it, you know? So I just gotta move all the files down to, I, I can move, I think, down to one one thousandth of a beat. So I gotta, gotta really get in there and make sure everybody's lined up perfectly. And that takes a long time. So you've got the challenges of working all our rhythms out, and because we're all recording in different spaces, not in a, a actual music studio, these, uh, all the stuff we send you sounds different, right? You've got everybody recording in different rooms, so all the rooms sound different, and you've got people recording on everything from uh, cell phones to $500 tube microphones, and trying to make all of those sound like they belong together can be really challenging. And and moreover, not being face-to-face -face is difficult creatively, because you know we can't bounce ideas off each other like we normally would. The only other musician I have in my office is my cat, and she's not very helpful. That cat is playing guitar.
on a more serious note, that aspect of, of not uh, creatively being together physically um, is so challenging with this project. I know all of us are kind of feeling it. We're so used to this dynamic we have of, of performing together or working together where one of us knows what the next one is going to play and, and do, or we can give each other a look. Oh, I'm about to, to, you know, take it up. I'm about to speed up. I'm about to go into a breakdown. You know, we, we do that visually and, and working this way, we can't do that. Um, however, there are some cool things we can do. And one of those things is what Mike does on every song. Instead of just playing one instrument on a song, Mike plays like three or four instruments on a song. Mike, tell us about it. You know, one thing I've always loved about going into the studio is the ability to layer like that, to record over myself and record over myself again. And so now being in the home studio, it's it's even more fun because there's nobody to tell me to stop hitting the record button. So I, I can just keep, uh, uh, all right, let's throw a harmonica on that. All right, let's throw a bass guitar on that. Let's do three vocal tracks. And... And really, I'm not wasting anybody's time but my own, so it's a lot of fun uh, doing that uh, here. Yeah, Mike, you do get really creative with these songs. So I get the video files, and I'm like, when is there a harmonica in this song? When was there a harmonica? Wait, oh, what's he playing? Oh, my goodness. It's fun. I love it, and I love you, Mike. And I know there's other stuff you love about working this way. What a segue. Mike, what else do you like about the stuff we're doing? I got to say, my absolute favorite thing about working virtually, I, I'm in my robe right now. It's great. It's great. I, lo I love working this way. I, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the robe made it on stage this year. I'm just going to go full dude and just robes and pajama pants at all the shows don't be shocked mike i will be shocked i will be shocked but i know a lot of people who will be delighted to see you in your robe or anything else you're wearing or not wearing thanks for thanks for joining on the program today mike bye everybody stay safe i can't can't wait to see you in a few months in the real world. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to see Mike Franklin in the real world. It's been, uh, like I said, we're, uh, we're doing the whole social distancing thing right now as a band. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty crazy to work that way, and, and Mike is a big part of that, of course, uh, mixing the audio for all the virtual jams we do. Now, speaking of music during this pandemic, so I talked a little about uh, a little bit about the virtual songs we do, and Mike filled us in on a lot of the challenges we have going into those. Um, I want to talk uh, and share a video from one of my good friends in Nebraska who's handling things a little differently with how he is bringing folks music during this pandemic. You guys. Have to see it. This, this is awesome. Here we go. Beautiful day to sit outside and listen to some good old polka music. <laughs> Welcome to a sunshiny, beautiful spring day and a great day for polka in the street. Sunny day here out in the wide open Nebraska. Well, day and we 
of inter neighborhood entertainment too. Glad I'm here. It's so nice to be out on a sunny day and listening to beautiful music and thankful for Jameson and his talents. Well, what a wonderful way to spend a little bit of a sunny afternoon on a Sunday. <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. That is my buddy, Jameson uh, Bretman of Fremont, Nebraska. Oh, the great state of Nebraska, home of the Bulls and Beer Band as well, is my good friend, Jam J Jameson Bretman. Jameson, uh, he's got his own uh, polka band, the Happy Players Polka Band. He's a college student, and he was inspired to put on this driveway concert uh, last Sunday. Last Sunday, people started, uh, they, start, they started Facebook, Facebooking me about this concert that was going on in his driveway last Sunday. And he was inspired to put this concert on after um, his sermon that, that morning. He, uh, he tuned in to, to, I think his church was live streaming or something like most churches are doing right now. And um, his uh, pastor put forth some sort of challenge about finding a way to, to be involved or show love to your community. I'm, I, I didn't listen to that sermon, so I'm not sure what all he said, but Jameson was inspired to go out and perform on the lawn for his neighbors um, on his accordion, more specifically his Cordovox, for those of you guys keeping track of accordion technologies out there. But this guy is awesome. Um, we've met Jameson once or twice out on the road. He's a real cool guy and a wonderful accordion player, as you saw in that video. Now, while Jameson has been out um, taking inspiration and then giving inspiration back, inspiring his neighborhood, inspiring the world at large with his polka music, the Chardon Polka Band has been doing some inspiring of our own. Check this out. All right, uh, so maybe, maybe we are not providing the kind of inspiration that parents would <laughs> like. I, I'm sorry, parents. That was uh, young Henry uh, performing old style beer, uh, being inspired by the Chardon Polka Band. Um, as many parents tell me, the next time you think about inspiring our kids, please don't. But that does, what a segue. That does bring me to one of everybody's favorite segments on our weekly live stream. We hope you guys are enjoying it. We're going to bring you some kids music and head on over to the kids corner for some kid friendly music, music that does not involve beer. So Henry, if you're watching, these are the songs that we want you to see at home, not the ones about the beer. Here we go. I got to click the link over the Chardon Polka Band. Kids Corner. Yes, here we are. And for the Kids Corner, I've been playing the guitar for this one. I don't know why, you know. Give the... So I'd like to play a song. Um, I know we got a few requests from this. I think I think even Henry and, and his brothers requested this one. Now this one usually Emily sings it, and I am not Emily. She's upstairs with the kiddos. So grizzly bear, a grizzly bear is sleeping in a cave. A grizzly bear, a grizzly bear is sleeping in a cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. 
If you wake him, if you shake him, he'll get very mad. Roar! All right, now you kids at home, you can do some motions with that. First you go, grizzly bear, a grizzly bear is sleeping in a cave. You put your hands over your head like a cave, sleeping in a cave. Grizzly bear, a grizzly bear is sleeping in a cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, he'll get very mad. And then you go, rawr. Every, let me see you kids at home. Rawr. Are you doing it? Are you doing it? Rawr. All right. Grizzly bear, a grizzly bear is sleeping in a cave. Grizzly bear, a grizzly bear is sleeping in a cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, he'll get very mad. Rawr! Grizzly bear, a grizzly bear, he's sleeping in a cave. Grizzly bear, a grizzly bear is sleeping in a cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, he'll get very mad. All right, so that's our kids' song for this week, Grizzly Bear, uh, the Grizzly Bear song. And for those, oh my goodness, parents, talk to me for a second. For those of you parents who don't know this, Emily, and I work on it too a little bit, Emily's got a, a YouTube channel called Music Milkshake. So I believe it's literally youtube.com forward slash Music Milkshake. Go look up Music Milkshake, and you'll find a whole bunch of really cool kids songs sorry i'm putting my guitar down you'll find a whole bunch of really cool kids songs from my wife emily i play on them as well on the guitar and the accordion a lot of cool music lessons out there for kids on that channel so make sure not only do you got to subscribe to the short and polka band on the youtube you got to subscribe if you got the kids or even if you don't it's still fun you gotta subscribe to the music milkshake boys and girls so a kid's song. We don't sing about beer when we're doing the kid's songs. Now, we've had a lot of requests for this next one. I'm not going to attempt to play it uh, for you live. I'm going to click the video, but I want us to all sit here and enjoy this together. This one's called Death by Polka. Let's, let's bring it up here. Oh, my goodness. i got to find it on the list, folks. It's on the list. Unless I took it off the list. I may have taken it off the, ah, oh, there we go. Sorry. From Hollywood, the one, the only, Lawrence Welk and his champagne music. Thank you so very much, my good friends, and hello, everybody. We're indeed grateful to you for inviting us into your home, and we do hope our program pleases you. Our very fine accordionists and all of the champagne music makers join me now with a polka that's familiar to all of us. One, and two, and three.
my friends will be drinking all my beer. And now a good word from your friendly Dodge dealer. <laughs> I love this video, folks. Hi there, I'm Bert Fry. You know, I've been a Dodge owner for some time now, and nothing makes me happier than telling people about the new Dodge. I'm mighty proud of this car. You want to know why? Well, I like a big car, substantial and solid, with a powerful V8 engine to match. Glad you liked that arrangement. Thank you, friends, for giving us the opportunities to play for you. We hope you enjoyed the show, and we hope we can have you with us next week at the same time. Good night, folks. Oh, my goodness. One of my favorite projects we've ever done. That's our music video for Death by Polka. And, uh, oh, my, I just... I just, I am speechless over that video. That's a dream come true, playing with Lawrence Welk. Of course, some of you guys know this about my history. I grew up watching Lawrence Welk. I grew up watching Lawrence Welk. We lived, uh, for the first 10 years of my life, I lived in rural Indiana, just outside of Indianapolis, in a town called Fishers. Um, our road was a dirt road, at least when we started living there. And we only had like three TV channels, like ABC, CBS, and we had PBS. And every Saturday night, if us kids were good, my parents would allow us to watch Lawrence Welk. It was a privilege in our house. And me and uh, the rest of the kids, we... we uh, we knew the different people on Lawrence Welk. Like we knew Joe Feeney was the guy. That's Joe Feeney. If you've seen the Lawrence Welk program, you understand. Um, Lawrence Welk hasn't been off the air in like a hundred years. We need to get his manager, folks. He hasn't been off the air for like a hundred years. Still on the air. PBS. Every Saturday night. And uh, oh, what, what fun. Um, me and my kids... Uh, little Luke and Benjamin, I think I got a picture of them. Of course, I got a new picture this week. That's little Luke on the left and Benjamin on the right. Oh, my goodness. They're the most adorable kiddos in the world. Me and Luke and Benjamin, we listen to Lawrence Welk all the time. We, we bring them up on the record player where I find some old uh, episodes of Lawrence Welk on YouTube. And we got it playing in the background on TV while we're hanging out. The kids love Lawrence Welk. They love that variety. And I, oh, someone just wrote in over here on the scroller. Lawrence Welk is on right now, depending on where you live. That's what's on uh, PBS right actively right now. So um, we're kind of competing with Lawrence Welk. Sorry about that. Um, I actually had someone uh, write in a few weeks ago and compare this program to Lawrence Welk. Very humbling. Thank you. Uh, folks also... Um, the, uh, people have been asking how long we're going to do the live stream. Um, if we are eventually are going to have uh, the rest of the Sharon Polka Band on the live stream, um, could we make this uh, just a permanent thing? Oh, wow. So many good questions. And I'm not even sure of the answer to some of those. Um, right now, as a band, we're just taking it day by day and working to bring you guys polka music however we can um, uh, obviously uh, 
it's really just in the form of video right now, both new material we post to YouTube and then this weekly live stream. Uh, eventually, we hope that it falls within safety parameters that me and the gang can get together, and then we can start working on material a little differently. And yes, maybe, maybe this live stream, we have uh, more than just me here in the basement, which would be cool. As to making it a permanent thing, uh, well, I think we'll stick with the live stream when, as long as we aren't back at work playing shows, this is a great way to, to do something live and, and see all you fans. I see over there on the scroller and to have that audience connection and audience interaction um, on top of the stuff we do on YouTube. Um, I love this live element. So for now, we will continue to do this in some capacity until we're back working regularly. Now, after that, me and Emily were just talking the other day. Uh, we took the kids on a walk and, and, and we said, oh, this live stream thing is a lot of fun. And it's a way we can connect with some of you fans that don't get to see us live in a live fashion. Like um, every week I have some folks write in from Florida. Well, we haven't been to Florida in five years. So I love that we can have that connection now. So maybe when we're back to playing, um, we can find a time once a month to do a live stream. I think that would be a special thing to do. And then to, um, I think one of the third or fourth questions I mentioned was, could we just make this a TV show and have it be a, a permanent thing? Um, well, boy, howdy. Boy, howdy. Hold on. That's the kind of thing that the Chardon Polka Band would always like to do. Some of you guys remember we had a TV show. It didn't really work out. It was on the Reels channel. It was a reality uh, sitcom, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, maybe someday it will work out for us to have some sort of televised polka again, right to your senators or better yet, right to, um, TV outlets. I don't know who's gonna, who would play such a, a thing, but, but, but right to them. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's, let's get some more music. Shall we? Gonna get the accordion. Yes, I see on the scroller. Some of you remember our short-lived television series. We'll be singing. I get knocked down, back up again, you're never gonna keep me down. I get knocked down, back up again, you're never gonna keep me down. I get knocked down, back up again, you're never gonna drink me down. I get knocked down, back up again, you're never gonna keep me down. He drinks a bad drink, drinks a lager drink, drinks a cider drink, sings a song that remind him of the good times, sings a song that remind him of the better times. Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy, I get knocked down, back up again, you're never gonna keep me down, I get knocked down, back up again, you're never gonna keep me down, I get knocked down. When I get up again, you're never gonna keep me down. I get knocked down. When I get up again, you're never gonna keep me down. All right, we're doing a little 90s, huh? That's right, Dan O'Brien. We're busting out the hits. Chumba Wumba. Now we're gonna go to Hootie and his Blowfish. You and me. Come from different worlds You lie to laugh me when I look at other girls Sometimes crazy And I wonder why I'm such a baby Cause the dolphins make me cry There's nothing I can do Better look for a girl like you You look at me Nothing left to say I'm gonna pout at you Until I get my way I don't dance, you don't sing, I wanna love 
love you, but you wanna wear my ring. You can call me a fool. Only wanna be with you. Call me a fool. Only be with you. Oh my goodness, hold my hand by Hootie and the Blowfish. Haven't heard that one in a while. I don't play that one, by the way. But I will give you one more 90s song. Uh, let's see. All right, hold on. I gotta think this out. If I'm only gonna do one more 90s song, I mean, come on. And by the way, folks, by the way, I just want you to know, if you ever pick up an instrument, like the accordion, and you say to yourself, boy, this is what I'd like to do as a profession. Just think, one day, maybe you'll be in your basement playing hits from 20 years ago, from in a, in a whole different style, as polkas, you know? That could be you. I'm living the dream. You got what I need And you say he's just a friend You say he's just a friend Oh, you got what I need And you say he's just a friend And you say he's just a friend Have you ever met a girl that you tried to date? Funny you to make love, she wanted you to wait Let me tell you a story of my situation I was talking to this girl on the U.S. Nation When I met her was on tour in a concert She had long hair and short hair just got off stage to perform with sweat Walking through the crowd and guess who I met I whispered in the ear, come through the picture booth So I can ask some questions, see if you're on the roof Asked her name, she said blah 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 She had nine ten fans and a very big girl Oh you, you got what I need A lot of that was just mumbling You say he's just a friend You say he's just a friend Oh baby you, got what I need And you say he's just a friend You say he's just a friend Oh baby you you got what I need You say he's just a friend And you say he's just a friend Oh baby you You got what I need And you say he's just a friend And you say he's just a friend Oh my goodness A little 90s music thrown in there for you I don't know why That's just what sprang into my mind You know there's no um direct audience interact i see the comments over here but see if we were live and i had done that first 90s song and if i had looked out in the audience and y'all had been like uh i would have been like okay cool let's move on to something else let's just play just because or something like that um and if we were at a a, a, a venue and like people were like yeah i love the 90s uh, then we would have kept going for like another two hours on 90s stuff. I love the 90s. Someone just pointed out to me that that was 30 years ago, not 20 years ago. Thank you. Thank you. Even more, um, you know, upsetting than sitting in your basement playing 90s music is remembering what the 90s was 30 years ago, not 20 years ago. So thanks for that. i just kidding. I love you guys. <laughs> And sometimes when we touch, the honesty's too much. And I have to close my eyes and hide. I want to hold you till I die, till we both break down and cry. I want to hold you till the fear in me subsides. All right, so uh, some of you guys have been, um, everybody asks every week, um, <laughs> what, what beer are you drinking during the show? Tonight, once again, uh, same as last week, our show is being brought to you somehow in part by our lovely friends at Platform, Platform Brewing Company, Platform Beer Company in Cleveland and Columbus. Opening one now, Platform. They do a lot of cool stuff for the community. They, they got to do a lot of cool promotions. And up there in the picture is my buddy Mike, who delivered this stuff to my house last week. Platform delivers. And 
platform enjoys this program so much. They said, do you want to do a program for us next week? And I said, oh, well, okay, I'm not doing anything else. There are no other gigs to play. So yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, next week on Instagram, this one will be a live stream concert on Instagram. So go to Instagram at Platform Beer Co. Uh, 3 p.m. approximately, we believe. Uh, the Jake is going to be uh, doing this this same shtick, this same shtick for Platform Beer. So tune into that. It, next Saturday, we'll post about it on our website. But yes, this week, we're drinking Platform. This one's Platform Basic lager but uh before that we had platform haze jude another great beer from platform drink lots of platform they're good folks my friends good folks right so next week technically you can tune in at 3 p.m on the instagram to watch jake um hawking platform beer <laughs> or and you can tune in at 6.30, our regular... Yeah, I've made the big time. That's right. Uh, 6.30 for our regular show. Oh, let's see. Folks, it's uh, our, our regular show. Um, we'll be wrapping up here in a few minutes, so thank you for tuning in. Um, before I go, I always got to throw out our, uh, our money stuff. You know, if you want to contribute, you don't have to. Oh, my goodness. Um, you can join with us on Patreon. Uh, Patreon is a monthly subscription, so you could choose to give the Chardon Polka Band, I think it's $5, 10 or $25 a month. Some people are high rollers, oh my goodness. And that supports the content that we're bringing you guys, especially right now, um, as we put a lot more work, time, and efforts into our videos and all that than we normally would, even though we usually like to make videos and stuff. Um, this is a lot more involved doing all this stuff in lieu of playing live. And then you can also help us out by giving us a virtual tip on Venmo, venmo.com forward slash Chardon Polka Band. That's a Venmo. You can send the band a tip on Venmo or and this option is just as good to me. Don't do any of that. Just watch and enjoy. And that is fantastic. And that is why we do it. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, um, we've shared a lot of material with you. And uh, I want to give another shout out to my buddy Jameson out there in Fremont, Nebraska. J Jason Bretman. Sorry, I had to look at his last name. I forget his last name. Jason Bretman um, for that driveway concert. And thank you for letting us share that footage on this program um, because I know it's something all our fans uh, think is just awesome. I think it's awesome. I loved hearing it and I love seeing it. We also heard from Mike Franklin talking about all the work we're we're putting in on, on these virtual projects, on the videos, on the audio end of it. Uh, I miss Mike, so I'm really glad we got him to uh, virtually be with us tonight through through that. So that's when when do you, when you say the time? EST. Yes, yes. We're we're in Eastern time. That's where uh, Polka HQ is. So that's uh, that's how I refer to time. <laughs> Sorry, answering a question from over here. You guys can't see the question. Uh, but, I, okay, so I was talking about we put a lot of work into this stuff. And I, I want you to know that in, in regards to the, the, the fact that what we're doing now is, is a lot like what we were doing 10 years ago. And, and I've, I've, I've talked to a few of my friends and my fellow bandmates about this. It's like what we were doing 10 years ago um, when we were just hustling, we were just hustling, and we were we were we were going around playing as often as we could. We were making videos, doing all this stuff, and and we were doing it just because we loved it. Now, now we did want to turn it into something that is what it is now. It's a business. It's how we make our living and all that. But back in the day, we weren't there yet. We were just doing it because we loved it and we wanted it to be successful and we wanted 
to do it for all you people. We, we love entertaining you guys. And so it, it feels like we, we've gone back 10 years. We took the money aspect out of it. We're not playing shows and making money. However, we are still bringing you guys the music, and that's so important to us. And that is why we're putting in the work and the effort right now is because this is actually what we love doing. It's our job too, but it's what we love doing. And it is truly humbling to me, and I believe to the rest of the guys, that every week people tune into this thing. I mean, me playing the wrong chords on accordion. Every week people watch our videos online. Every week we get, we get messages from you on Facebook, on email. Uh, people find my phone number and text message us. <laughs> Um, we get letters, snail mail from you guys. Uh, we're just truly humbled, excited, and um, bewildered that our music plays a role in your lives. So thank you, and we are just grateful to be doing that right now in the midst of everything that's going on in the world. We're just very grateful to still be a part of your lives, and hopefully we can offer you a little bit of... Uh, zany fun and enjoyment. Uh, speaking of which, tomorrow I believe we've got a new hymn to post. We've been posting a new hymn on YouTube every Sunday. I believe tomorrow's is going to feature the Claberheads, our good friends from Cincinnati. So make sure you look at our YouTube channel tomorrow. We post a new hymn every Sunday. That's during these, these crazy times. Um, I don't think we'll be able to keep that up quite is often when we're, we're working full time, you know, playing shows. Um, and then we got some really exciting projects on the horizon that'll be, a uh, few of those will be premiering this week. I showed you guys that uh, premiere sneak peek of our Stay Safe video about uh, coronavirus safety that I believe that'll be going live Monday. So please share that with your friends, family members. It's, it's a great video we're very proud of it and then i believe this next week ladies and gentlemen drum roll th if you have a drum roll it ladies and gentlemen this week we're going to be doing a song with our very good friend from akron ohio mr michael weber one of the greatest guitar players currently living in the united states of america mr michael weber uh we do kind of a rocky bluesy song i'm not gonna i'm not gonna spoil it you guys gotta stay up to date with our facebook and our youtube and you'll see it oh someone said uh our son alexi is uh learning the accordion and loves you guys what is the website for emily's teaching lessons again that's music milkshake on youtube so go to web uh youtube um youtube forward slash music milkshake um, if you send us a direct message, I can, I can write the link out for you as well. Um, Bradley says their, their son is learning acc accordion. It's learning accordion. Then direct message me anyway, because we'll send you some accordion goodies for your young accordion player. <laughs> I didn't know, I don't know what even song I was going to play right now. All our songs kind of start like that. So I was like, here we go. I, I don't know. What song should I, I got to, I got to play two more songs. All my bags are packed. I am ready to go. I'm standing here outside your door. I hate to wake you up to say goodbye But the dawn is breaking, it's early morning The taxi is waiting, he's been on his horn Already I'm so lonesome, I could cry So kiss me and smile for me I hate to go Now the time Has come to leave you 
One more time, just let me kiss you. Close your eyes, I'll be on my way. I'll dream about those days to come when I don't have to leave alone. About the times that I don't have to say. Or kiss me and smile for me. Tell me that you're with for me. Hold me like you'll never let me go. I'm leaving on a jet plane. Don't know when I'll be back again. Oh, baby, I All right. Oh, my goodness. Eugene Daniel Francis, Pirate Polka. I'm going to remind me I'm supposed to play that one next week. All right. Shoot me a message on Instagram or something like that. Reminding me to play that for you next week. I'm going to wrap up this week. Um, kind of started my first week doing wrapping things up with uh, Irene Goodnight. And I think that's a, a cool number to end things with. I really do. Hold on. Sorry. I got to finish. You got to if you're going to broadcast from your basement before you go you got to finish out all your liquids you don't want to leave liquid in your basement <laughs> Saturday night, I got married. Me and my wife settled down. Now me and my wife, we are parted. And I'll go to the other side of town. I read the night. I read the night. Irene, good night, Irene. I'll see you in my dreams. You know, I was playing a song, I think it was last night. I was playing it for the kiddos. I play I play music for the boys. I, me and my wife have twin boys. And I play music for them every day. I love it. Usually with the guitar, the accordion is a little loud and scary for them for some reason. But I get out the guitar and I, I strum it and I sing to my boys. I love doing it. We play all kinds of music. But uh, I think it was last night I was playing them Goodnight Irene and I was about to sing the verses and I went, well, it's not really a uplifting song for kids' bedtime, you know, uh, uh, last Saturday night I got married, me and my wife settled down, me and my wife are parted, that's sad. And then there's a, you know, another verse that says, sometimes I get the notion I want to jump in the river and drown. So quickly I looked around the room and I looked, uh, they got mobiles hanging over their beds. One of the mobiles, my wife made these beautiful mobiles, I'll show you a picture next week. Um, one of them is robots. Beautiful, it spins, it's got little robots on it. The other one is dinosaurs, and I looked over and I went, that's it. So I, uh, I turned the song into about a dinosaur named Irene. Now Irene was a dinosaur. Her skin was a color green. And Irene was a herbivore. And she never was mean. I rain good night. I rain good night.
night. Good night, Irene. Good night, Irene. I'll see you in my dreams. I made up a whole bunch of other verses on the spot, but I can't remember none of them. We make up a lot of music on the spot, you know, and I need to start writing some of it down. But you guys heard it here. I'm going to work on an all dinosaur version of Goodnight Irene. Maybe I'll play it on the show next week. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Love you guys. I'm Jake from the Chardon Polka Band. Oh, Irene, good night. Irene, good night. Good night, Irene. Good night, Irene. I'll see you in my dreams. I love putting on this show, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being so awesome to the Chardon Polka Band. More great music for you next week, so tune in at 6.30. Oh, and I almost forgot, tonight, today, would have been the, the I don't know, like the 50th millionth annual Maple Festival. Geauga County Maple Festival. The Chardon Polka Band would have been playing at the wonderful uh, Chardon Geauga County Maple Festival. Um, sorry we couldn't do that event. Sorry, Maple Festival people that you aren't able to put on the event. Two years ago, maybe three years ago, we were the Grand Marshals. Grand Marshals and the Maple Festival Parade. So we are Maple Festival royalty. So on behalf of the Chardon Polka Band, um, this weekend just have your own Maple Festival. Pour some maple syrup in a glass and drink it i don't know make some pancakes tomorrow ladies and gentlemen that's it for me i'm sorry about the closing remarks about maple syrup i don't know if they were coherent uh, i should have left it with good night irene love you guys thanks for tuning in and i'll see you next week check out our uh facebook our instagram our youtube for more great videos they're not going to be live but there'll be some awesome videos posted this week including uh, our new safety song uh, music with the Claberheads and a song starring our very good buddy Michael Weber. I don't know how we talked him into it, but the kid's awesome. So we'll see you guys. <laughs>